Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is currently 6.31 in the morning. I got up a little bit early this morning um, just to get some stuff done before everybody else wakes up. Plus, I just love the peaceful quietness of the morning. So, coffee pot's already going. I'm going to start a um, coffee creamer recipe that I'll share with you guys. It's a butterscotch coffee creamer. So, I'll share that with y'all. And I'm going to also put the recipe in the description box for you. And then after that, I'm just going to go out and do a few morning chores and then just give you a few updates around the farm. Alright, so we're going to start out with one cup of brown sugar. And then half a cup of water. And then we're just going to mix that. And then bring it to a boil. After it comes to a boil, you're going to just let it simmer for five minutes. Just be careful with this mixture though because it tends to like to boil over very easily so you're going to want to keep an eye on it. So it's been simmering for five minutes now so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat. And we are going to now add in one cup of cream. And this recipe was inspired by the Prairie Homestead cookbook. She has a salted caramel recipe and it is so good. It's my favorite cookbook so this is where this idea came from. All right, so we've got our cream in there. Now we're going to do 3 fourths cup of milk. I like to use whole milk, just whatever you have or want to use. Now we're going to do one teaspoon of butter extract, and that's what gives it the butterscotch flavor. And then 1 fourth teaspoon of salt. All right, now we're just gonna mix all that together. So there you have your butterscotch coffee creamer. I'm now gonna put this in a jar and then I'll pour some coffee and get started with my day. Um, this is good for about one to two weeks in the fridge. However, it never lasts that long because it is so good. I started making my own coffee creamer the end of last year and I have not gone back to store-bought coffee creamer. Good morning. We got a brand new day. Good love is on the way. And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia. Have you ever been in love? I dove in from high above. And if the answer's no, well, then I'd like to get to know you. And though I know these lights are blinding, I will guide us. Cause I don't know what I've been told The weather outside is not that cold And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia And I don't know what those men see But I see you right next to me And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia Good morning chicken If you don't follow us on Instagram, which you should, um, you sh probably don't know we got a rooster from a friend. We named him Cletus, <laughs> um, but he's actually so friendly. He's doing great. It was a little slow getting adjusted at first, but he's doing really good. We're so excited to have a rooster now. And my favorite thing is hearing him crow in the morning. Hopefully y'all will get to hear it. So right now I'm just getting 
at the meat chicks food and then I'm gonna go out and feed them it's funny you'll see them run all the way to the corner when they see me they now associate people with food and they are little piggies I'll tell you that so they're gonna be excited to see me this morning Loving's on the way, but I could use it right now cause I heard loving's on the way, but I could use it right now cause I heard loving's on the way, but I could use it right now cause I heard loving's on the way. I don't know what I've been told. The weather outside is not that cold. And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia. And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia They're growing so fast And we are going to do a um, week 1 through 8 update we're working on that right now, so you won't miss their growing and all that. Waylon wants to love me right now. <laughs> um, yeah, they're growing so fast. They're out in the chicken tractor. We're moving them every other day right now. But they're doing great. And that is a five-gallon bucket, so I don't need to refill that because we refilled it last night, so it's still got some water in it. And if you can see this one right here, hiding behind the other ones that's the freedom ranger that's the one that we got sent that was different from all the other ones it's just a little bit smaller it's still going pretty fresh too there it is you can see it now to pretend time is on our side falling i'm falling before i go again falling. Late at night like we're Letterman We're deeper right now than I've ever been Overthinking this would be irrelevant Chances are We'll end up in a bar tonight With drinks turn off and filter right Put in place to hide things we both know It's obvious there'll come a time I'll board a plane to leave behind The closest thing to home away from home so this is my flower garden that y'all saw me plant in a previous video. The zinnias are thriving. Um, I'm actually going to cut some this morning, so I'll take y'all along for that as well. Um, the sunflowers, I went ahead and cut a bunch of those, so they're missing their tops. Um, but I cut them for some bouquets around the house. So I'm going to show y'all actually how to cut the zinnias too, in case you haven't already done it yourself. Okay, so this one is a great example here. So you can see the stem comes down and it wise off with this other stem. So I'm gonna cut right above where that other stem is. So that way, this now will become a flower. And I still have this one. These flowers, the more you cut them, if you cut them like I showed you, the taller and the fuller they'll bloom next time. So that's really fun. Forget nights like these ones. I'm falling, I'm falling before I go again. I've tried to pretend time is on our side. Falling, I'm falling before I go again. I never cared much for the traffic in Midtown. So I moved down south, I don't know where you are now It's getting exhausting, trying to imagine Settling down when it's already happened A piece of my heart is stuck in Manhattan The last 
four years, you're all I've known I guess I forgot how to be on my own I'm going out of my mind Trying to put you out of my mind Am I just wasting my time? But it's too far gone, I should have moved on Don't even know if it's love now With all this distance, all this time Keep wondering On my nightstand I have to wear This is never what I planned The hoodies, the t-shirts The handwritten notes The book from your parents I never let go You last so much more Than your words in your clothes So I'm going out of my mind Trying to put you out of my mind Am I just wasting my time Alright, so there is my gathering from today. Lots of pretty flowers. I love these peppermint stick zinnias. Those are my favorite probably. There's so many beautiful colors. And then I picked off one little sunflower here. I'm going out of my mind. Okay, so now that we got our flowers picked, I just wanted to give you a few updates about what's been going on here around the farm. So we did plant in the ground are blueberry bushes that I showed you in a previous vlog and I know I know I said I was going to pick the blooms off so the plant could go fuller and taller and all that good stuff but I'm the most impatient person in the world so I just let it let it do its thing and we have blueberries we haven't been able to eat a lot because Addie raids the blueberry bush blueberries are her favorite but we do have these growing here this one doesn't have much on it yet this one's the bright well um, but those are in the ground and then we do have two new ones that Jared got me for my birthday these are the tift blue blueberry um, all the blueberry bushes I have are rabbit eye variety therefore I believe we're 7b I think that's our zone um, but he ordered these from Home Depot. They came pretty like tore up. I don't know. Like the branches are kind of falling off. I guess that's what happens when you ship it. But anyways, I'm going to wait until the colder months and then I'm going to trim it up a whole bunch and then hopefully it'll look better next season. And I promise I'm going to pick the blooms off of these bushes so that we can have <laughs> taller and fuller bushes from these. We also have a broody hen. She actually just got off of these eggs to go. I think she's eating some food. But um, these eggs, we marked an X on them so that when we come to collect eggs, we don't grab these. Um, we got the rooster a little over two weeks ago and he's been mating and they say wait two weeks after he starts and then you should be able to hatch out some eggs. So we're just gonna leave these and see what happens. If nothing else, I mean, we'll be out three eggs, so it won't matter, but that'll be just be a little fun thing to see if we get some chicks. We got a brand new night. Good love will soon arrive. And when it does, then come a little closer. Have you I think ever we're seen the stars today? Burn out into the dark and as they go say it was nice to know you and though I know these lights are so that's gonna do it for this video I hope you enjoy the short little video of my morning here every morning is not like this I work a full-time job the weekends are crazy uh, but I did want to take this morning and just have a quiet peaceful morning picking flowers feeding the animals all that good stuff so I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with what's going on around the farm. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And y'all have a good one. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of the day clean and get some stuff done. Bye. I heard loving's on the way. 
but I could use it right